Hey guys, today I'm going to do an update for all of my unboxings for November and then I'm going to show you guys what I got for December. I have the Sephora Play, I have Ipsy, I have BoxyCharm, and also I got the Walmart Beauty Box, which is right here in November as well. They do a seasonal one, you guys know that. But I just want to update you guys on all the products that I got for November and tell you what I think was worth it, what I don't think was worth it, and then I'm going to show you guys what I got for December, and then I'll do that update in January. So I want to do this style of unboxing every month as opposed to just unboxing and being like, okay, this is what I got, cool. Congratulations, everybody got the same stuff or everybody got completely different stuff, whatever. Anyways, I tend to get a lot of different products than at least the YouTubers that I watch. So I really like to show you guys what I get as opposed to what they get because I feel like I really get some different products. So anyways, let's get started and I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this kind of short and sweet for you guys. So I have very strong opinions about a lot of these things and some of them I can just do without. So. I'm going to start with Ipsy. This month I got the CC Plus Cream and this is in the shade Medium. I did not open this because Medium is my summer shade. No point of opening this for winter because I need light for the winter. So I'm going to keep this and use it in the summer. I'm very happy about that product. Then I got this Glamour Dolls Bitten and Bronzed Matte Bronzer and it was obviously in the super cute Lisa Frank packaging. I loved Lisa Frank as a kid. I was so excited to get this box. Honestly, I really want to keep the box, but I'm not going to. I'm trying to be more minimalistic and not keep boxes. So I'm going to get rid of the box, but I love it. Here's the bronzer here. Um, I've used it quite a few times. You guys have probably seen a million people swatch this and use it. Um, I actually quite enjoy this, so I'm going to keep it around for a bit longer and keep using it. It is slightly orange toned on me. I don't have it on today. I don't know why I did that. But it's slightly orange toned on me, which is okay, but I think it'll be a lot better for me in the summertime. So definitely excited about that one. Then I got the Tarte Blush in the shade Quirky, and I love this color. This is it here. Um, I got new lighting, by the way. I have a ring light now. So if things look a little off, please let me know so that I can change the lighting. But I haven't edited any videos that I've used yet with the ring light, so I'm going to edit a few today and try to tweak it versus you know how it looks. But anyways... I love this shade of blush, quirky, it looks perfect on my skin tone. I can build it up and it still doesn't look too blushed, if that makes sense. But the Tarte blushes are the best, honestly. This is like the best product I've gotten in a long time. So this next one is the Jonte Blue Natural Beige Lip Liner Pencil. I didn't actually try this yet, but this is more my shade. You guys know that I got this in like that red shade last month, October maybe? October... I think it was October, it was like the red one in the boxy term. I got rid of that one, but this one I think I'm going to keep because it is more of the natural shade, and I don't have many of these. As you guys know, I have like four lip liner pencils, so I'm going to keep this, and I know that's only like $5, per, $5 item. And then the very last item I got is the Mud Masky Facial Detox Purifying Recovering Mask. I actually did not try this out yet. It's completely sealed still. Because I have other masks that I'm trying to use up that are already opened, I did not try this yet, but this is going to go in my sample project pan for 2018, and I will definitely use it up. And these, honestly, I, t I can tell if I like it right away. So this says, pore refining, hydrating, anti-aging, brightening, and smoothing. So I'm excited to try that. So that was all the items that I got in one... Two, three, four, five. Yeah, that was all the items that I got in my Ipsy. My goodness. All the items I got in my Ipsy. This was a fantastic month of November for me. Honestly, I don't think they went wrong. I kind of wish I got the yellow bag instead of the blue one, the yellow and brown. But honestly, I don't really use these bags anyways. So that was it for my Ipsy. For my So this month, I think that Ipsy was totally worth it for me. I would pay the $10 for that kit anytime, especially having that Tarte blush in there. Perfect. Um, then I have my Sephora Play for November. You guys know that it said it's me o'clock. You know, it's whatever about the bags. But I got the My Burberry Blush Perfume. I haven't tried this one out yet because I've been using up perfumes, as you guys know. 
um, but I have heard this is like an amazingly good scent and people have purchased this scent after trying it out so I'm really excited about that. And then I got this Mistress Hydrating Hair Balm. I don't typically use hair balms, so I'm gonna put this in my sample project pan and try it out. We'll see. And then I got the Marc Jacobs Mascara, which I love this one. I already have an open one right now, so I did not open this specific one, but I know that I love that mascara, so I'm excited to use that. And then I got the Sephora Brand Ultra Shine Lip Gel, and this one is in the shade 04 Perfect Nude, which looks like a perfect nude for me, so I'll definitely be using that. I haven't opened it yet. Like I said, I have a million lip products right now. And then I got the Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask, a clear pores. I actually already have a sample of this that I have tried and I love this, so I'm going to definitely use this. So along with the Sephora Play Beauty Insider thing, which I can still use up to December 31st, probably won't purchase anything. I don't need anything right now, but I think that was an excellent Sephora Play Box. Minus the hair mask, I don't think I'm going to really use that. But I really do think that that was a good Sephora Play Box. Oh, I am missing something. This is the Paracone MD Hydrating Cloud Cream. I've been using this as my daily facial moisturizer every single morning. I love this. I already have it on my Sephora Favorites um, thing. It's very, very expensive. So I'm going to wait for a VIB sale for this. But I love this thing. It's seriously it's really good if you guys haven't tried this and you're looking for like a more luxury type of um facial moisturizer definitely recommend this it's honestly been one of my favorites since i've been using it and i've been using it since the beginning of the month because i ran out of my moisturizer at the beginning of the month when i actually originally got this i love it it's almost gone and i'm sad like it needs to i need to have more anyway so i think that the sephora play box was okay this month that moisturizer and the mascara and the origins mask really made it a lot better okay next moving on to boxycharm for the month of november i got this winky Lux kitten palette and this is in collaboration with boxycharm so i think that this is only available on boxycharm i'm not sure but it's like a nine pan palette it's pretty good i have used quite a few of the shades i wouldn't purchase this personally i think it's on sale for like 25 dollars let me look here yeah 25 dollars on sale and i think i want to say that i swear i saw it on sale at ulta but i don't exactly know um I don't think I would purchase this for $25. I do think the shades are really, really nice, but I have so many of these shades already. I don't really need this palette. I do like it. I will use it, but I, it's not a necessity to me. Um, and then I got these KNC Beauty All Natural Collagen Infused Lip Masks. I will say that I think these are better off used when your lips are like mine <laughs> very very dry and dehydrated and peeling skin and oh my lips are so bad in the winter time so i did use one of these i have two left i would say that the recommended use for 15 to 20 minutes you should definitely use it like 20 to 30 minutes to be honest i used it a bit longer and it seemed to really really help um, and then it says two to three times a week, which I definitely recommend because I used it the one time just to see what it would do. And it was so nice that night. But then after that, it just kind of like went away. And I did use a really moisturizing lip balm after and it felt good that night and the next day. And then the next day after that, it was like totally gone. So I would recommend using these in a row. So I have a bunch of lip masks that I plan to use this winter and these are gonna go with the lip masks because my lips have been really, really bad. Okay guys, so the next item I got was this Luxie Quad Eye Travel Set. And these are four brushes that I definitely will use. And I love the fact that they're really small and compact for travel. I haven't used them yet. Um, just because I have tons of brushes that are perfectly fine, but I'm kind of keeping them in this little thing because I'm not sure if I do want to keep them or if I want to put them in a giveaway just because I have so many Luxie brushes and I already have all four of these ones. So yeah, I don't know, 
but you can go on to Luxie and get 25% off with the code QUAD25. So if you guys want some Luxie brushes, that's not an affiliate code or anything. Um, it's just on the back of here. I don't know if you guys read that, but it is QUAD, Q-U-A-D, 25 to get 25% off. So if you want to get some Luxie brushes, I don't know if it's only for this little quad. I'm not sure. And then the very last item that I have in here is the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. So this one, I have a love-hate relationship with this. So you guys can hear the ball in there, right? Because that's obviously mixing up like the illuminating part of it. Let me grab my little sample side. So I have this little sample of the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray that I was using in lieu of using the full size because I didn't know if I liked it yet and I already had this little sample size in my collection. So I really do like this, but disclaimer, it really does illuminate your skin. So I would suggest doing a regular setting spray first and then using like two or three little squirts of this very far away from your face um, because it can get a little like patchy, if that makes sense. Like when it comes out, when the spray comes out, if you're too close, it'll like really like get one area and then it'll look crazy in my opinion. <laughs> but what I was doing was using the Urban Decay setting spray first and then just doing like ch -ch -ch -ch, three little sprays really far away from my face and then it just looked so glowy and natural and beautiful. So I am going to keep the full size but I want to use up the little sample size first before I go ahead and open up the full size. So I think that this was a decently successful box. Oh and I also got the Laka and Co. Cloud Lips. I know you guys saw everybody else un unbox that as well. Um, it was in that like rose gold packaging and there was a couple different shades people got. I got the really super super dark brown. It's like that blue brown color and I got a color similar to that in a ColourPop shade and that color just didn't work for me. I do like dark browns but not with the blue undertone to it and that's what that had. I didn't swatch it so I did put it in my giveaway box to give away to you guys and yeah so I know that not everybody will like that but I mean if I'm doing a giveaway then you can just you know give it to a friend or whatever if you don't want it. Yeah. That was all of my BoxyCharm items. Now Let's move on to the Walmart box. Okay, so in this month's Walmart beauty box, November's, it was really like summery paper, which was a little confusing. I thought that they would do like a wintry paper, but they did not. Anyway, so we got this Body Fantasies Layering Collection, Ude Toilette Sprays, and um, I mean, these are okay. These are just like little sample body sprays. They're just two small ones. I mean, I'll take it. It's five bucks for this thing. And then we got the Plackers, Micro Mint, Freshens Breath. These are like the um, floss picks. That's what they are. Why can I not think of that word? These are the floss picks. We use these all the time. I'm actually going to keep this little container in my purse. My son and my husband use them particularly all the time. I floss every day, so I don't really need them as often. And then I got the Goldmon Ultimate Hydrating Cream Renewal or Radiance Renewal Cream Oil. And it's got coconut oil, cocoa butter, and African shea butter. And I guess this is like a facial moisturizer. I don't know. We'll see. I haven't used it yet because I'm using the other one, as you guys know. And then I got the Hello Pure Mint Extra Whitening Fluoride Toothpaste. Um, I will keep this for traveling. It's a pretty decent size, actually. I like these little travel size toothpaste. But what I like about it is that it's got the white indicator here. So if you guys ever see toothpaste, they're on the very back of the toothpaste, there's like an indicator. And usually it's green, blue, or these are the colors that they go in. They go green, blue, black, red. So green is like the most natural, blue is the second most natural, and then black has more chemical than natural ingredients, and then red is all chemical ingredients. So this one's actually white, and it says naturally friendly, free from dyes, artificial sweeteners, artificial flavors, microbeads, triclosan, preservatives, gluten, and peroxide. Brilliant like you. It does has, have sodium lauryl sulfate, which is not good for your teeth, but I'm still gonna try it. It is more of a natural toothpaste, so I'm excited to 
try this out. It was a little lesson on toothpaste, by the way. That was weird. But I can talk to you guys more about like natural toothpaste and natural like deodorants and stuff if you guys would like. Let me know in the comments down below. And then I got this Donkey Milk Sleeping Mask Nourishing and Moisturizing Restore Skin While Sleeping. So these products are obviously not cruelty free because it's made with donkey milk. So I'm not sure if I'm going to give this away or not. I don't really like to use these kind of products. Not that I'm like a cruelty free YouTuber. I mean, I like to purchase more cruelty free items, but I don't know if I'm going to end up using this. I haven't used it yet and I'm not sure that I will. And then we got a little pamphlet for the body fantasies that first one that I showed you, there's a little pamphlet to go along with it. Let's see, there's a discount coupon for the placards. There is a coupon and a little booklet. Oh, I can't, you can't even see it. A little booklet and a coupon with the toothpaste. And then there's a couple foil packets here. So this is the, here it is. There's like two foil packets. There's the Nivea. Um, in shower body lotion and the cherry blossom and jojoba jojo, jojoba is that how you pronounce it i don't know um oil infused lotion so this one's like the in shower wet skin moisturizer and this one's like a regular lotion i will definitely try these out and see how it goes and then i got the olay luminous evens tone and fades dark spots Tone Perfecting Cream, Advanced Tone Perfecting Moisturizer. So it's just a little teeny tiny foil sample and then a coupon on the back for it if you like it. And then the very last items I got were the Shea Moisture Curl and Shine Shampoo and Smoothie. I'm thinking like the smoothie is like a conditioner. Um, not exactly sure, but I'm gonna try these out and see how they go. Um, I like to use this kind of product and I don't mind the foil packets. They are like usually one use for me. Like the shampoo I can feel is probably going to be one use. The conditioner is probably going to be about two for me now that I have shorter hair and not so long of hair, but I will try that out. But that was all that I got in my Walmart box, which is a ton. Literally five bucks for all those samples and all the coupons and everything. Tons of stuff to try. I love these Walmart boxes. They come seasonally. You don't get to like pick what you get, but it's really a good option if you just want to try a few different products that you wouldn't have tried otherwise. So I really do like these Walmart boxes and I think the five bucks is totally worth it. It's only 20 bucks a year for four boxes. And I mean, how can you go wrong? It's just a ton of cool samples to try and coupons. Hello. So that was all of my November unboxings. Sorry, this is getting long, but let me just quickly run through my December unboxings and then I will get more into the products in next month's unboxings. I obviously don't have a Walmart box to unbox for you, but I do have Ipsy BoxyCharm and Sephora Play. The Ipsy, ba or Ipsy bag for December is very like wintry, snowy. It's got like this teal color on the inside. It's cute. Like I said, I don't need all these bags. So honestly, if they just came in the shippable container without the bag, I'd be fine. But I got two masks. They are by Feel. I think that's the brand. And it's called Brilliant Bamboo Charcoal Facial Sheet Masks. And it's, and it's supposed to be a powerful detoxifier and pore minimizer. So I actually think these would be better in the summertime for me than the winter time. Um, I need more moisturizing stuff in the winter time. So I'm gonna hold the hold off on those and probably not use them until the summer. And then I got a brush from uh, SL Miss Glam and it's supposed to be like a highlighter brush. Um, I've been really liking my fan brush, my big huge fan brush for highlighting, but I love this handle. It's so beautiful and it's got like this pink and purple to it. It's really, really a nice design. And I like that the handle is actually like more grippable. Like it's not slippery. Like, I don't know. It's such a weird description. Grippable? Who knows? And then the next item I got is the Barefoot Venus Wildflower uh, Instant Hand Repair Hand Balm, I guess. I have tons of these right now, but I am going to try it out and let you guys know if I think it's any good. 
And then I got a NYX eyeliner in the shade SL10 Purple Blaze. Um, I'm not going to swatch this for you. I'm going to open it and try it out and then let you guys know in my update. But I got that eyeliner. And then the one thing that I'm most excited about is the little Smashbox lip sample. And it is the Be Legendary lipstick in the shade Legendary. It's like the red... It's such a beautiful color. I don't even want to swatch it yet until I'm ready to use it. But this actually would have been good for Christmas. But I didn't want to use it until I showed you guys. So I have other red lipsticks that I could use. But anyways, that was all in my Ipsy bag. I got five products. Well, I honestly feel like the masks I can count as two. So six products because I got two masks. And yeah, so we'll see how that goes in the coming month. I will try to use up, not use up, but I'll try to use all of those products so that I can give you guys a good review on them. And next I'm going to do BoxyCharm. Actually, you know what, next I'll do Sephora Play because that's kind of the order that I went in the first one. So first, you guys know that you always get the pamphlet for what is in here. And I didn't really totally look through this box yet. I just kind of opened it. <clears throat> But I love this bag. Look at how like it's like silky and golden and beautiful and it's called Glam Straight by hashtag Sephora Play. I just love this. I think it's so cute. So anyways, the first product that I got is called Eye Basics by, who is this by? Laura Mercier and it looks like it's a prime and color corrector to create the perfect canvas for eyes in eight shades. So it looks like it is a eyeshadow base. Um, or primer, however you want to call it. And I got the shade Wheat. So here it is there. I mean, that looks like a good color match for me. It might be a little bit dark for the winter time, but I think, I don't know, I, I'll have to try it out. Um, but I typically like my eyeshadow bases to be a bit lighter than my eyes so it can kind of cancel out the lines and stuff like that. So the next item I got is this little Smashbox Duo. It's called the Cover Shot Golden Hour Eyeshadow Duo in the shades Turned On and Psyched. So let's get that and open. These are such beautiful shades. There's like a pinky one on the top there and then a brown one. They both have like this sheen to it but no glitter. So I'm excited to try these out. Um, I did swatch them previously but I will swatch them for you here. I think those colors are really gonna be good colors for me. So I'm gonna try this out. I typically don't like eyeshadow singles just because they tend to just get lost in my collection. Honestly, I have tons of ColourPop ones and tons of other like singles that just get lost. But anyways, the next one I got is the Peter Thomas Roth 24 Gold Pure Luxury Lift and Firm Prism Cream. It is an all-over self-adjusting illuminator and targeted highlighter. So I'm not sure about this one. It is a sealed container, which I appreciate so much because if I'm not ready to use it and open it up, then I want it to be sealed so that it's going to be good for me to use when I am ready for it. So I will try this out though and let you guys know what I think about it, but I haven't tried a ton of Peter Thomas Roth products, so I'm excited about that. This is one that I did, I put on like immediately when I got it, and I love it. It is the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in the shade Vintage. I had to look it up, sorry. Um, but when I put this on, it was more like a very lightweight liquid lipstick. So that's how I would use this. I wouldn't typically use such a full coverage lip gloss, um, as a lip gloss, if that makes any sense to you guys. I would use this as a liquid lipstick just because it is so full coverage on my lips. So I did use this. I loved it when I used it. I will continue to use it. And then I got the Triple Sec 3-in-1 by Dry Bar. And it seriously sounds like there's nothing in there. It's so light. But this is supposed to be an airy spray, revives lifeless strands, adds volume and body to your style and extends your blowout. So I'm going to try this tomorrow when I curl my hair and see if it actually works. So excited about that one. And this is really weird because I did not get a Sephora brand product in this month's Sephora playback. Normally you get four products, a Sephora product and a um, perfume sample. But this month I got five non-Sephora brand products, which is pretty cool. I appreciate it. 
And then I got the Tom Ford Black Orchid perfume. And I've heard that this one is such a rich, deep scent. The fragrance family is floral, which I don't fully love, but it depends on what it goes with. So the top notes are black truffle, lang lang, bergamot, and black currant, which I think would be a really, really good mix for me. The middle notes are lotus wood, and the base notes are patchouli, incense, and vetiver. I can never pronounce that correctly. I think I got some really great products in my Sephora play box and I'm excited to give you guys an update on that in January. So my very last box for you guys is the BoxyCharm box. So this month when I kind of just like peeked through it, I was really underwhelmed by this, by this box, to be totally honest. Like I just, I don't know. All right, so I got the Real Her Be Fearless, Be Limitless blush kit. And here it is here. I haven't opened it or swatched it yet because I don't know if I just want to give this away or not. I saw, I've seen some other people's reviews that I really value and trust and they kind of were just like meh about the product. So honestly, I'd rather give it to one of you guys that can try it and enjoy it. I have so many blushes in my collection. I don't need it, but I don't know. I might change my mind. Not sure. And then I got a brush from Crown Brushes, and it's just a very dense face brush. I'm not sure what I would use it for, probably my contour. I really like these kind of brushes for contour. It's very, very soft. And, oh sorry, the blush kit retails for $32. The Crown Brush retails for $12. So, I mean, it's super, super soft. I'm really excited to use it and try it. Then I got the Bella Pierre Cosmetics Pro Concealer Palette, and this is... I did open it, I did not swatch it. This is the color correcting type of palette. I don't color correct ever. Like, honestly, the most amount of color correcting I do is my e.l.f. tone adjusting primer in green so that it can kind of cancel out some of my redness, but I'm never gonna use this. So I will be giving this away to one of you guys. I did take the plastic off of it just so I could open it and show you guys, but I did not use it or touch it, so. I'm going to be giving that product away for sure. That retails for $29.99, so $30 concealer palette. I think that is going to be amazing for you guys if you do color correcting. I do not personally, so that's a pointless product for me to have, and I would way rather give it to you guys so you guys can enjoy it. This is a liquid lipstick from, from Pretty Vulgar, and it's called My Lips Are Sealed in the shade 105. 105, 105 Weeping Willow, and I did try this out already. It is such a beautiful color. It's very dark and very glittery on me, but I think it's really good. It's a very metallic type of lip color. I'm excited to use it more and give you guys a full review on it, but when I did use it, I really did enjoy it. I only used it once, <laughs> but I enjoyed it. And the very last product is the Tarte Tardiest Lash Paint Mascara. That's what it's called. I do have a sample of this that I've used before. I really, really enjoy this. I'm not going to open it yet because I have others that I'm trying to use up, but I already know I love this product. And this retails for $23, and the Pretty Vulgar Lipstick retails for $24. So I think that is a fantastic value for this box. Like I said, though, I'm probably going to be giving these two products away to you guys. And... Yeah, I just don't need them, and there's no point of keeping items that I don't need because I'm trying to be more minimalistic in my approach for um, beauty and makeup and just products in general in my house so that I don't have so much to clean. But yeah, that was all of my products for the month of November for my review on all of my box unboxing products, I guess I would say. And then those are the new products that I have for December that I am going to review next month in January for you guys after I get my January boxes. So thank you guys so much for sticking around and let me know if you guys like this video or like this style of video by just thumbsing it up for me just so I know to keep kind of doing this routine. Um, I plan on doing one of these every single month when I get my boxes and then doing like a more in-depth review on the previous month and just a new quick unboxing on the new month and yeah so thank you guys so much for stopping by I really appreciate all of your love and support and leave me comments below in the items that you got in this month's box um, for December I'd love to know if you guys got something different especially if you got BoxyCharm if you got something different in BoxyCharm because I was seeing that everybody got the same stuff so I'd love to know if you got something different because I'm kind of sick of getting the same things, you know? Anyways, thank you guys so much, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye. Oh, gosh.
Why am I reading the one that's like in Spanish? Okay.